Hello everyone and welcome to this short yoga session, Yoga with a Twist. We are going to start by lying on the mat. Let's keep the knees bent, so soles of the feet on the mat, knees towards the ceiling. I'm just going to bring it close to the eyes and just land ourselves in. So just become aware of any tension that the body is holding on to. And on the exhale, and release this. So releasing through the spine, releasing through the neck. Soft tummy. Shoulders. Arms are relaxed. And then let's bring our arms out to the side. And we're going to bring some movement into that spine by swaying those knees backwards and forwards in our windscreen wiper move. So just in encouraging a gentle twist into the spine. The next time the knees are down to the left, we're going to hold them here and we're going to hook that left foot over the right knee just to encourage a bit more of a twist. Let's release that foot, knees back up to the centre, but now bring the knees down to the right and let's do the same. So we're going to hook that right foot over the left knee just to encourage more of a twist. And then let's unhook that foot. We're going to bring the knees back up and then tuck them in towards the chest. So let's do a little rock from side to side here. And then with the knees, ankles and feet together, we're going to bring both knees over towards the left side. So we've got the left hand on top of that right knee. That right arm can come out to the side if that feels comfy. We aim to have both shoulders in contact with the mat just to anchor through that twist. On the outward breath, see if you can release any unnecessary tension. One more moment. And then let's bring both of those knees up towards the chest. Little rock to reset that spine. And then with knees, ankles and feet together, we're going to come onto the other side. Anchoring both of those shoulders down. When we do these twists, it just starves the oxygen from some parts of our organs. Or starves the organs from blood. And then when we untwist, fresh blood comes rushing in and it just nourishes those organs. So it's really good for detoxing. Let's take one more moment here. And then we're going to bring both of those knees back up into the chest. Little rock. And we're going to come up to seated next. So let's either come onto your side or just roll yourself up. And we're going to meet in a seated position here. Legs are crossed if that's comfortable in the knees. Do feel free to sit on a cushion or a rolled up blanket if that is going to find a length in your spine. So let's find a lovely length in the spine. We're going to breathe the arms outwards and upwards. We're going to drop the right hand into the mat and then we're going to come into a lovely side bend first. Try to open up through that top shoulder. And then we're going to float that left hand down. It's going to land behind. The right hand is going to come onto the left knee. So the hand behind is encouraging length through the spine. And the hand on the knee is encouraging a twist through the spine. One more moment. Then let's unwind. We're going to breathe in, breathe those arms up. We're going to drop the left hand down this time. Come into a lovely side stretch the other way. Maybe taking a gaze under the arm. Both sit bones are down. One more moment. 
And then we're going to float this right arm up. It's going to land behind and that left hand is going to come onto the opposite knee in this lovely seated twist. Gazing over the right shoulder if that feels good in the neck. And let's unravel. We're going to come on to all fours now. So let's meet hands and knees. We're going to make sure that our knees are underneath the hips, hands are underneath the shoulders. We're just going to sway the hips from side to side here. Swaying the hips from side to side. Then let's come back to the centre. We're going to step the left foot Forwards. We're going to leave the right hand down on the mat next to our left foot and press the left hand into the left thigh and we're going to come into a twist here. So we're twisting around. If you want to, you can bring the left hand up towards the ceiling. If you want more of a challenge, you can tuck your toes under of that back leg and you can lift that back knee from the floor wherever you are. We're here for one more moment. If that knee is lifted, let's drop it. If that hand is lifted, let's lower it. We're going to come back to the centre. are going to land both hands on the mat and then step your left foot back to meet your right. And then your right foot is going to come forwards. We're going to do the same on the other side. So our right foot is forwards. Our left hand is next to the right foot. We're going to press this right hand into the right thigh and encourage the twist. Option to bring that right hand up towards the ceiling. Option to tuck the left toes and bring the knee up off the mat. Wherever we are, one more moment. If that knee is lifted, let's drop. Hand comes down, let's bring the... Um, right foot back to meet the left we're going to leave the hands on the floor in front and we're gently going to lower ourselves down into our sphinx pose so our shoulders our elbows are underneath our shoulders try not to collapse into it we're going to push the floor away push the chest up and you're welcome to keep the elbows down if you want to or you can lift the elbows up and wherever we are we're going to look over the left shoulder towards the left foot and then back to the center and then look over the right shoulder towards the right foot and back to the center let's do that one more time each way so we're looking over the left shoulder then we're looking over the right shoulder let's come back to the center if the elbows are lifted we're going to drop them we're going to bring our hands underneath our shoulders, bring our hips up, knees come apart, big toes are together, sit the bottom back onto the heels. We're going to bring the forehead down and come into child's pose here. Just feeling relaxed through that spine. One more moment. Let's bring the hands underneath the shoulders. We're going to bring the knees back in together. We're going to tuck the toes, lift the hips up. So we're in our standing forward fold here. Let's just hold for a moment. And then we're going to bend through the right knee. We're going to put the right hand on the floor and we're going to bring the left arm upwards. So right hand is on the floor, right knee is bent, left leg straight, left arm up. And let's switch to the other side. So left hand down, left knee bent, right knee straight, right arm up. 
One more moment here. Let's bring both hands down. We're going to walk the hands forward, bend through the knees. Let's come back to a seated position. Let's find a lovely length through that spine. So a couple of rolls of the shoulders. And maybe a couple of rocks of the neck. Let's place the hands on the knees. The palms can be up or down. Let's tip the chin down towards the chest just a little bit to feel the length through the back of the neck. Closing the eyes. Just landing the body back in. Last few moments of rest. And then let's open the eyes. Gonna sweep the arms outwards and upwards. Palms meet, heart center, namaste.